Hello and welcome to Getting Candid with me, your girl Helen. Remember to subscribe and turn on the bell for this channel so that you don't miss out on anything that we upload on here. So today I'm chatting with a legendary artist who's given us 12 good albums. If that's not legend enough, what is legend, guys? I'm talking about Chameleon. There's so much to talk about with Chameleon. Join me on the other side as I chat with him. Welcome back. I mentioned in the opening that I'll be chatting with the legend, Chameleon. I'm super excited to sit next to him because I mean, we grew up listening to his music. Who didn't know his music? How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good. I'm excited to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. You know your music? Yeah. My parents are not very big on secular music, but they would literally, my dad would go and buy a whole Chameleon album. Whenever I knocks off from work, he'll be listening to Chameleon. <laughs> so it's that kind of, but what happened? Where did you just, you like, you just disappeared? No, I didn't disappear. The new guys came in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the competition now is so stiff that if you just slack, like, if you're behind just a bit, yeah. you'll be forgotten. Yeah. But uh, I'm still around. I'm still releasing music. I'm still relevant. <laughs> you, you, like, people can't forget you because I think your songs are timeless. But uh, have you been releasing new music? Late, of late? Yeah. Yes, I have. Now, now, or uh, like there was a time uh, when yeah, you was just a time went. Yeah, I was too quiet because yeah. I got so used to, you know, being comfortable as in, I didn't want to release anything. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to work on it in the background and then like at, a, at my own time, release it. But then I stayed quiet for too long. Yeah. Like almost seven years or so. Wow. So um, it was a good time to refresh and uh, COVID came in and it gave us a good chance to work on music. Okay, so, yeah. so now we should be expecting something come, yes. some things coming from Canadian. There's a new album coming out, a 14 wow. track album. Should be out in, in two weeks. Okay. We just shot uh, two videos. We're done and uh, it's going to be something. Okay. I really done. thought of having you on the show because I, I, was, I was kind of like, he's resurfaced, your Facebook is busy. I'm like, okay, I think yeah. we should be expecting something and I'm super excited Definitely. for that. Yeah. But uh, so uh, when I talk about uh, your social media, yeah. There was a time you posted about um, you were advising your mom was going through some things and <laughs> everyone was talking about him. Then you posted something yeah, to just yeah, yeah. advise him. Yeah. Why did you feel the need to say, "Look, let me let me talk to"? You. While everyone else was just stoning him, you said, "Let me let me advise your mom right now." Okay. Um, first of all, um, you know everyone goes through hardships. Everyone goes through situations, and uh, there's no angel out there. Point out an angel to me, and I know that Jesus has come. <laughs> so, you know, we all have our own issues. But then I analyzed that situation that he was going through, and part of it was him to blame. And then part of it was, you know, the whole social media family that was just against him, and it wasn't fair. Yeah. You know? So, um, according to what I saw, and talking about his part, I felt like, you know, you don't do that to women. Yeah. You know, you don't bring issues like that out in the open and, okay, according to what I said, I don't want to repeat it. Yeah, 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 no. Stoning him. So I just commented because I felt like as if I've been there. Yeah. I've been through it before and um, according to the way I handled it and it, it worked according to how I handled it. So I thought maybe he could do the same. And he seems to have surface properly because people are still loving his music. Nice. Okay, so what is the one thing that you have learned over the years being in the spotlight that uh, you think, ah, uh, this probably, I, I, maybe you've even learned it the hard way because sometimes the lessons we learned, uh, uh, we learned, we learned in the hard way. What is the one thing that you learned that you feel the younger ones should, should learn from? Music has taken me through, the, through a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> taken me through a lot. Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't have started music. Because <laughs> I don't have a... My life is not... I'm not free. Yeah. I can't go out there in slippers, in flops, in shorts. I can't, I can't do any simple thing out there. Yeah. You know, wherever you go, the spotlight is on you. People are talking about you. They're morning. So if I'm afraid, so much about it, so much about it, so much about it, so much about it, so much Come on, man. Yeah. I'm a human being at the end of the day. Yeah. And, uh, okay, I've learned that, you know, you, you have to be strong. Yeah. You have to be strong. Just put a shield in front of you and just soldier on. Yeah. When, you, when you talk about um, people talking about what you're wearing, mm. uh, that's stressful, obviously. Mm -hmm. But what kind of a person are you? Like, away from chameleon, who, who are you? I'm a shy person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm, uh, I'm a simple guy. I'm a father. I'm, uh, I'm not married, though. <laughs> You're not married? You, you no. quick to clarify that before I even no, get no, to no, the no, question. I'm just, I'm just stating the facts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stating the facts, I'm, I'm just a simple guy in Osaka and um, I just enjoy my life the way it is, yeah. besides music. Yeah. yeah. So if, if, you were, uh, if you were not a celebrity, would you say you are very simple, you like an easy life, you want to wear what I you want to wear? Huh? <laughs> I complicated a bit the things I do. Okay, I like traveling and uh, yeah. just socializing with people that I haven't met like in a long time and yeah, yeah just catching up with friends from far. like. Like last time we traveled to the UK and instead of coming back after a month, I came back after seven months. Why? I just felt like, you know, needed some fresh air from Zambia and, you know, the whole vibe that I have here. <laughs> it felt nice. <laughs> Weren't you scared that maybe I'll get in trouble for... No, 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 because before that, it was South Africa. And then before that, it was Botswana. <laughs> you overstayed in all the countries? Yes. Just to get, you know, a feel of the environment and just to So I would say you look like uh, you, those very silent band. Ah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Probably, you know, very quiet, cool. But the things you do are some of the things that you know, people the... that know me, they're like, mm, chimonin. <laughs> quiet for nothing. You're but quiet, I'm... but the things that you think about are not like... I don't know, maybe uh, the looks are deceiving, but it's, it's what you see that makes you think, oh, I, I work quiet, uh, but I have my own issues, man. <laughs> I have my own issues. <laughs> Why do you feel the need to take a breather from Zambia so much? Has it been so stressful that you feel like I need to be somewhere? Like It has. You know, when you have people telling you, so when is the album coming out? You release the album. When are the videos coming out? Release the videos. So, can I get a feature? Can I get a list? Watch out, can I get a feature? Can I get a feature? Come on, man. It's like they're keeping you on your toes all the time. If you, uh, uh, what is the one thing that you wish you did differently in your career? I wish I never started music. <laughs> that shouldn't be something that you. Because I did uh, computer engineering at school. Yeah. And uh, just from the time I left school, I haven't practiced. So yeah. I felt like I wasted my dad's money. <laughs> so now you started music and you can't stop. It's difficult to stop, obviously. It's difficult to stop because people keep, keep coming to you with checks. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't refuse uh, the check. They come to you and tell you, oh no. Because I remember the first time we made good money. Mm -hmm. So I told my dad, ah, this is the money we made. Oh, can't you feel bomba? And I'm like, ah, music. Hey. So the second time I came with a car. Like, hmm? <laughs> when you work with a motor, <laughs> that's music. And he's like, oh, okay. Go for so it. So now I started thinking, ah, is this man thinking, okay, we sent him to school, then he's doing music, so let's see what's going to come out of music. Yeah. Now that he's seeing it, is he agreeing with it? Yeah. So, uh, um, just uh, the whole thing that I've been through with music and uh, the way my daughter looks at me now. How many kids do you have? I've got two, a son and a daughter. Yeah. So my daughter is 14. The son is 16 now. Nice. Yeah, he's in South Africa, she's here. Okay. So she, she asks me questions, so, is this what you really wanted to do? I'm like, you can do she's working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so, would uh, you agree if one of your children says, Dad, we want no, to do music? No, no, no. <laughs> you wouldn't? <laughs> Maybe in the UK or in, or in America or something, but not here in Germany. But anyway, if they're good, then why not? <laughs> but it's not something that you would... Uh, you would be hesitant about it. Yeah, because of the, the hardships that music has, okay, mostly for, for women. The industry is harsh to women. Yeah. The Zambian industry, music industry, mm, it's harsh to women. Huh? When, well, what I'm getting from you really is um, for, for you to even say um, you wish you didn't start music. <laughs> it's like, it's Not that made I don't you, love it. you love it. It's something that you love to hate. You yeah. love it, maybe, but you wish you didn't love it. Because it's made you go through so much, right? Things that you didn't expect, you know, things that you never saw coming. But then... Is it? Mm. Can we talk about your Chirangam Nero's? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe it's one of those things, because I think that's the time people were really talking about chameleon, chameleon, this. Yeah. What okay, happened? First of all, first of all, I hope this clears it once and for all. Yeah. It's just one. One. Nah, I don't buy that. One. It was more than one. No. Probably no. two. None what I know is, okay, people were saying, okay, they were exaggerating the number, like seven, eight. Okay, I'll give you, okay, I'll give you an I, example of this. But Listen. I'm thinking, I, I heard 
Three. Didn't you do some interview before and said no, it was just three? No, 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 I never did that. You did an <laughs> I never interview? Said that. No. <laughs> one. Just one. Okay. The person that messed it all up is Rafkid. <laughs> he did a song, I don't know what song that was, but then he just talked <laughs> he about misled it us. And everything just the the cat just came out the, the closet. It was really bad. Yeah. He, he sang about um, Raneo, Alwusu, yeah. get up. And they all beat him up. I remember. Oh, I remember that <laughs> incident. I remember that incident. incident. So from that time, that rumor has just carried on and carried, and it's grown bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, to a point where, whenever I'm trying to date someone, They're the scared, parents are like, "Me fuck to date, come date me now." Like, where did you hear this from? You know. Yeah. But it's just one, just one, one, one. Okay. And all the musicians were there. They were all there. Okay. Just happened once. So now imagine you as a mother. Yeah. And then your son comes to you and says, Dad, so in the fact that you are the family. Is it them taking or them bringing them? Like for the family. Them like for the family. Them like for the family. Them like for the family. So now imagine number one, then you have to pay number 10. Then number 12. People would think you are a stupid mother. Yeah. <laughs> they would just think you are a foolish mother. How can you be accepting all the time? You are just accepting. Yeah. Advise your son at least. Mm, don't be too fat. I'll just uh, <laughs> yeah. think of But something were you else. almost marrying again after that? No. So it, you never, after the one that you wanted to marry uh, with the Chilanga Mililo, you never went to Tuala Kotumbale somewhere else? No. That's what I do. Sorry to mess it up for you, but no, <laughs> never no, happened no, again. No, I don't want you to mess it. <laughs> Actually, I want to hear the truth. No, 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 the truth. Because is, this is the stuff that we mm, read and I hear know, about, and I know. so we're just thinking. So for me, uh -huh. truly, truly, okay, I don't believe the ten numbers, uh -huh. but I believe the three. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing like that. Just one. Because somebody told me you, you confirmed it in an interview. It was uh, one with Angela. Angela is part. Okay, yeah. but why didn't it work out anyway? Um. We were, we were young when we met. We were young. And as we grew up, we grew apart. Mm -hmm. She's a lovely woman, don't get me wrong. She's the mother of my child, so yeah. I respect her too much. Yeah. And um, she's a good woman, so we just grew apart. Okay. Yeah. Why are you not, uh, you, you were quick to say, I'm not married. Why are you not <laughs> Is it that you haven't found the one, or you're just taking your time? It's, it's not easy, man. No? It's not easy to find the one. <laughs> okay. It's not easy to find the one, but um, it's in the works. It's about to happen. Nice. <laughs> I hope I'll come for the Chilangam, you know. Ah. Let's just take a break. <laughs> I'm still chatting with Camille and stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. So, you, you were talking about... Uh, that very soon something's happening, so me, I'm coming for the Chirangam Lilo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, just joking. At a certain point in time, man has to marry. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. But uh, when you were going through all that, mm -hmm. uh, how did your family handle it? Your parents especially? They were just laughing it off because they knew it's, it's not it's true. A, it's mm -hmm. not true, yeah. But then, my mother. My mother just laughs it off and says, ah, yeah. where did they even come up with such things from? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. But then when you think of it, eh, you, you, you are loved. You are loved by all age groups. Young, old, like your music, I think, uh, appeals to everyone. But then there was a time, I think, negative publicity kind of followed you. Yeah. No, he didn't show up at this event. Why were you not showing up at people's events? Okay, um, that was um, mismanagement by the management team. <laughs> okay. You know, there'll be times when um, someone calls you and say, we want to give you a show. Mm. And then, you know, to close off a show, you need to pay up. Yeah. That's just how it is. Yeah. It's always been like that. You know, with guys out there like David and them and uh, Whiskey and them, you pay them three quarters of the amount before they even show up. Yeah. And then you finish off when they're at the airport. Yeah. yeah. So now for us here, yeah, we do half down and you find that some people will just delay you and they won't pay until the day itself. So now you find yourself committed to one person mm -hmm. and they're not paying. And then someone else just comes and says, mm, you want to say his end. And then now you start calling the other person to say, listen, we have to cancel the show. And they can't take it. They say, no, we just have to carry on. We just have to carry on. So you find that you've gone somewhere else, then you've already called it. 
-hmm. So that happened like three, four times a day. Social media, my friend, you just have to spark it up and put paraffin there and it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm it wasn't a deliberate move? No, 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 no. no. Okay. It wasn't one of those where you just said, say, <laughs> let me eat their money. Yeah, because... No, 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 it's not like that. I remember there was a time uh, somebody posted to say you should never ever... You know, that was recent, eh? You should never ever invite Chameleon for an event. They would talk, man. He's never... People he talk never about Jesus. They used to talk about he Jesus. He never shows up. And then some people even say, no, maybe somebody needs to talk to him. Maybe he's going through something. Like, you know, the people well, that... They, they created the scenario. They started now worrying. I think it was I need, genuine and worrying to think, yeah, but why doesn't need, he show up? Maybe something is wrong. I need help. Yeah, talk to someone. maybe. Maybe you need... <laughs> Cancelling, yeah. wow. that, that was uh, that kind of thing. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's just management issues, but it's, uh, it's a serious issue. I don't want to say it's not. Yeah. It's a serious issue, but... Because it's, it's denting not, your image. It, it is, but then I can clear it off, and mm. it's not something that people should worry about. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I've been in the industry for 20 years, mm -hmm. and then something small comes up, and then you want to say that is what I am, besides the 20 years that I've uh, yeah. delivered properly. Come on. Cool. Yeah. Okay, I like that you've cleared that one because yeah. personally I was just wondering why you would want to... You know, most of the times we hear stuff about people, but if you actually talk to the person, yeah. you hear a different story to everything. Yeah. Like the home of Yomar Yeah. When I spoke to him, it was a different story that I got from him. Yeah. And I was like, why are people exaggerating things? Yeah. You know? Mm. Okay. Anyway, that, that's good. Um, I'm glad to, to hear that. What has been your highest points in your career? Like something that you always remember and say, this time I didn't regret joining music. <laughs> um, okay, there were times when, um, like, uh, Kaimbe, Kaimbe Zantemba, from the, the owner of Zantemba, yeah. that time when he had all the clubs all over the world, yeah. he called me once and told me, get on, a, get on a flight, come to South Africa. I want to do something with you. I said, what, what, what the hell does he want him to do? Yeah? Okay, so I just told my manager, let's go to the airport. He so said, who's going to pay for the flight? The tickets have been paid for. Just get on a flight, get to South Africa. So we got there, and this guy asked me, so how much should I pay for 12 videos? Wow. So I sat back, and I'm thinking, this money, are we talking about this money right now, or oh, yeah. it's going to come late? He says, right now. So I put my manager aside. He said, what, what, how much should he charge you? He says, okay, okay, charge him 150. It's not too much. No, he says, okay, okay, just charge him that. So we told him 150. And he said, I can only give you 130. Yeah. I'll give you 80 now. So that time we were, we were broke that time. Mm -hmm. We didn't have money. Then. And at that time it was big money anyway. Yeah, so he says, I'll give you 80 right now. So, okay. <laughs> Bring the money. So I got that money and I sat down and I thought, because my mom was going through issues. So I thought, ah, okay, let me give her 60. Yeah. Just to ease her issues and then we'll carry on with the rest. So when I gave her that money, she almost she cried. <laughs> yeah. So at that point, I just felt like, okay, I've done something at least to give back to the people that raised me, you know? Yeah. So that was the highest point for me. That's and good. Okay, those times I've been coming here and there, here and there, here and there. Yeah. And I want to carry on doing it because it gives you blessings when. Your you parents, look her, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, lowest point. Mm. Lowest point. That made you think, why did I even start music? <laughs> okay, there's been a couple of those. Yeah. A lot of them, actually. Have you ever, because I feel like most of the people in uh, when you're in the public, I think that's why in the US we see a lot of them going to rehab. Yes, because there's a lot of pressure. Yes. yes, I feel like even here people go through that, but usually they drown themselves differently. Either just alcohol. Most of them alcohol. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's serious alcohol abuse. Have you ever gotten to that point where you feel like I can't talk to anybody because, firstly, it's risky for you to just tell everybody your problem because some people will use it to. Yes, they use it against you. That's yeah, good. in public because they know it's chameleon. If I say something about chameleon, I've got I've got friends who've done that. <laughs> you see? You used it like this. You just go yeah. on social media. Yes, after all, shine, you could shine, you could like, yeah. everything. Oh my did. God. And I was like, please, come on. Yeah. I confided in you, you know? Yeah. But then, uh, it's, um, it's crazy, man. This industry has really, it's, it's got its um, pros and cons. Yeah. And um, okay, I've, had, I've been through situations where, okay, we're crazy friends. Yeah. 
you know, I've got friends who are just going to tell you point blank to say, but if all this stuff, you have a Mm -hmm. Yeah, just being silly, man. Just control yourself and just get back to your normal self. Yeah. And they're there. They know themselves. <laughs> <laughs> At least they've pushed me through. You know, there's been times where things have really been bad. Yeah. Where my woman leaves me because I'm not okay financially. Yeah. She goes, gone, gone, gone. I cry about it and then I get up and things get back to normal and she comes back. <laughs> Okay, like so the guys are telling me, eh, she doesn't any boy in back. It's happening. So you get her back? Uh, <laughs> I'm not a bad person, man. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. I'm asking, because I mean, a uh, lot of guys will just say, ah, you want me when things are okay, you don't want me when things are going bad. You know, situations like that where you get the person back, it won't be long before it happens again. Yeah. The person just has to love you for who you are. That's the title of one of the new songs that I'm doing. Yeah. Love me. It's coming from I, experience, yeah. right? <laughs> it's, it's coming from within. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, mm. I, can't, I can't wait to hear that. That's, uh, that's uh, how did you get up and say, you know what? I have to heal. She's left me and I have to be a man and move on. I just thought, you know, if I just sit and cry about it, bills will not be paid. You know, things yeah. won't be done. Nothing will move. So let me just get up and go. After all, she's enjoying herself wherever she is. <laughs> Let me also enjoy myself. Okay. So I found a better person and hey, it's been good. <laughs> it's been good. Okay, just tell me about what you're doing now. You say you there's some new projects coming up. Maybe you can just tell us about the project. Yeah. Um, I'm working with uh, the Kalandanya Music Promotions and uh, with an album coming out. It's a 14 track album. Um, so far, so good. We've got good stuff coming. Uh, Videos. Music, nice. Shows. Yeah. Uh, uh, any new singles? Any that's what you're show? What that's what you're expecting? So two new singles that are coming out. Okay. Babidi and Love Me the Way I Am. So yeah, I think people will be happy with it. They're coming out with videos, so not just music, but videos as well. Proper. Mm. That's nice. We'll yeah. be we'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. And uh, this, let me get it. Kalandanya is like a music label, right? Yes, it's a promotional okay. entity. Yeah. Oh, it just manages the promotional part of things, not managing the... There's brand. more to it, but then their people can explain more. Okay. What I know is that they're a promotional entity. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice. So we'll be looking forward to Chameleon's new music, new videos. Any last words before I let you go? Um, my fans should not be disappointed with that has happened in the past. Uh, there's more to come, good things to come, obviously. So let's, uh, let's soldier on like we've always done. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there for you. I'll entertain you like I always have. I'm one who is very just excited to just have you back on with music and... When people say, and he's back, where did I go? <laughs> no, like you were not giving us music. I was hibernating. So we were just... <laughs> We were just relying on that. Thank God we can still listen to your old music and still love it and still dance to it. So, but I'm just glad that we were getting something new. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And hope to see you in concerts. But you still perform. Yeah. In uh, many places. There's uh, one coming up on the 27th. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be like oh, yeah, everyone in the industry. Nice. Everyone will be there. Mm. Nice. I should yeah. be there. I need to dance to local music. <laughs> nice. All right. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. All Thank right. you very much, Ryan. Okay, so this has been your girl Helen. I was chatting with Chameleon. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Bye-bye.